Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and today we are going to continue on from building this uh, mini space flyer thing. So let's get started. All right, so last I left off was building this wall, getting the thrusters working and the vertical thrust going up and down. Uh, you guys had a lot of concerns about the maneuver or the control of this, but I'm, I'm not planning to use any scripts to control this. Uh, mainly it is just going to be attached solely on vertical position actually horizontal position you would say like this position mostly only when it's landing i would have to switch off a hot key to make it go down and it helps with vertical thrust so for now um, i'm not going to be using any script that might change in the future i'm not too sure yet but yeah no scripts for that because i don't want any um uh, mishaps with this blowing up or something because of the script going crazy so for now that's going to stay like this uh, now I did start on the opposite side just to get um, a sense of how wide it's gonna be I will finish that off later uh, but I did get an idea of where this position is gonna be so I'm gonna keep it like this for now but I do want to work on getting a room up and going mainly because I have this battery kind of down here which I want to get rid of and make basically an engineering room so that's what i'm going to be working on today just like a small engineer room to place where the battery would go and also possibly the um, hydrogen um engine or hydrogen generator so my thoughts is i want it to be two levels um the first level is just for the cargo bay uh, what we're looking at over here and then maybe go into a room down here with where the engineering would be so this this is why I'm just expanding this right now I'm um, trying to see how much space I need so if I walk in here I'll have a little well this is off centered but say it is on center I'll have a little room to walk through here and possibly a door to get into the engineering and then a ladder or staircase to go up to the second floor which will be my cantina uh, living quarters and furthermore where the pilot seat would be and stuff but mainly um, down here would be where the batteries hydrogen and the ice generator would be so not ice generator air generator and I don't know how much I want to go but I do want to make it so if I walk through here a door enters here with like an engineering room for battery hydrogen and air generator and but if I don't go through this door and I go up the stairs that'll be my second floor so I think this is enough room not exactly too sure yet um, let's see if I stack this up a little like that I have room to kind of fit a little bit more and then I could put a door here uh, we got some really cool doors what's a half sliding hatch door what are these hanger doors oh okay cool I'm learning these new blocks as we go um, so I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it because I'm seeing it's like a new game to me Okay, this didn't do any... Oh, okay, what is this? This is only for large... Oh, that is pretty cool. That means I can't use it for this, but I will be able to use this. This is what I wanted to use. Mainly to get into the engineering room. So, let's count the blocks. What? This is the wall. Actually, nope, I still got two more spaces left before the wall. So that's the wall. Well, this is going to be angled up, but you get the idea. That would be the wall. Okay. Maybe I should bring that down too because I know that that's going to be good. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need the odd number, so this is perfect. 
at the door right here. Right? And then I could put all my components in here. Should I flip this door around? No, there's no gap here. I could put some windows here to look outside and I could stare inside in here. And this could be the space for the components. And this could be ladder. So ladder would work out really well over here to get to the second level. And I could close this off. And kind of close this off too and use this as a space. And then I could do all the plumbing. But when I climb up here, the roof is still good, nice. And then I could put railings. Do we have small grid railings? What rail gun? Rail gun. Hi. Oh my god! I'm gonna have so much fun with these. Um. Heavy armor slopes. The rail gun is for big or small terrain auto leveling. That's because I'm in creative mode. Well, not in creative mode, but gives me the creative tools for that. Um, I don't have railings. So I'll sort that out a little bit later because I could just put half blocks to make it look like railings. But for now, um, we have our second level to come up to. And I will make sure to... Oh man. Okay, good thing nothing happened. Alright, I'm not going to be worried about that yet, but... First, we're going to need hydrogen, hydrogen industrial tank, small hydrogen tank, I don't need hyd hydrogen engine, that's what I need. So let's do a hydrogen engine, hydrogen thrusters, and then I also need an air tank. Um, let's see, it's not air, ice, no. Call the generator somehow. Oxygen oxygen generator. That's what it is. Oxygen generator and small hydrogen tank O2 H2 generator. Isn't that what I need? O2 H2 generator? So I don't need a hydrogen engine. Hydrogen engine creates electricity. But I do need a hydrogen O2 H2 generator. And I also need um, oxygen tank. There's oxygen farm, hydrogen tank, uh, oxygen tank, okay. So I do need an oxygen tank as well. So eight would be this guy. Uh, I have two holes and then nine. This one is my tank or small grid. Can I adapt the two holes together? No, but I should use the two holes to, for plumbing. A lot of which I want to be able to plumb upward. Now, I could put this here, right? Actually, I could put this here. Hide some of the plumbing behind this wall that I'm going to create and make this go up. Um that's an oxygen tank then I need the H2O2 generator that attaches to that and then I have I could do some components over here but I don't need to uh, the lights are on this side and this one doesn't have lights so what I'm going to do is reverse that. So 9, 
8H2 generator because I don't need to look at this. Then 8, I would, no, 9, I would flip this around and then I would see the grid right there. I could do a few plumbing and battery I could put over here. And possibly I do need, um, I probably do need a generator to charge the batteries, right? And then I could put this battery component. Hmm, how do I want to run this? Because I still need gyros and stuff like that uh, for flying the ship. So I also want to keep that a possibility for me to repair, but I could put it in these gaps over here. Like a, it's a one by one generator. So I could definitely put something like that over there. One battery is not enough um, to run this ship. This is the edge of everything. So I, and I also want to run um, Man, the best way is actually to put this down like this. This way, because I got four height, so I could get two batteries going. Still not enough. But I could fit some. How big is the engine? Hydrogen engine. How big is it? Okay, two by two uses a small little thing. That means this, I'm gonna have to carry ice as well. Well, I figured that much because I need air. No energy. Um, trying to see what's the where the best way is to put the hydrogen engine. I mean, I could put it here and I'll actually link up to that hole like that. And this could go up with the plumbing. Uh, where is plumbing? Wow, auto cannon, assault cannon. Oh my god, auto cannon turn. I can't wait to play with these. Oh wow, assault cannon turn. That's exciting. Um, I wasn't even looking for that. I was looking for this. Uh, small grid uh, conveyor. Yeah, there you go. That's what I need. Conveyor. Conveyor tubing. This one and I will put it here eight so for now cargo and everything will be up on the second floor just in case I need to run some other stuff um, I could run it because I could actually adapt some guns to this and use this as a area as well but two batteries um, I have a little gap here that I can fit some other components. Up here I might put a gyro or two. I'm not ready for it yet, but I could put some gyros. And this is the plumbing for the second floor. Actually, that's not a good idea because this is where I get up from the stairs. So that's going to be covered up. I have to see where the plumbing is going to be but I most likely come up this way and then I'm going to have a medical room and oxygen and all that other stuff into this component so my thought about the second floor is I got to come up and it's got to go through an oxygen room you know like those uh, places where um, you would have to decontaminate or oh, it's like two rooms so you would come up up here, get over here. Here's another room to kind of 
come back here you can still see over the bay um, do we have small ones of these half see there is half blocks like these light armor plates I could use them for like a um, step but I'm trying to look for some sort of window I'll find that later I know there is something similar so my thought is there's another door here okay um, don't know where to put it probably put it as close as possible so I'll remove this remove this put the door here you get up another false wall whoa what happened here oh that's bad wrong wall actually I might use those armor walls for that little room later in the future because it will help protect all the batteries because when you're fighting AI they're usually aiming for the batteries anyway but you come up here this is where you kind of stop and go in here and you would fill in the room with oxygen what the you would fill in this room with oxygen put another door here right is it making sense to you guys put another door here and then there you go fill in this room right over here I'll close it off in a sec but yeah come up the ladder come in here close this door Close this door oxygen will fill into this room then you get in here this is all oxygen treated and then from here on is basically my what do you call that um i can't even think right now <laughs> survival kit uh, put stuff to put your bed the cryo bay um other stuff that you could put all the components here for luxury and then keep going and then that's where the pilot seat would be up in front so that's kind of the mock-up of how I want the, that room to be the mock-up of the floor plan of how this would be I still gotta clean this up a little I might make this a little curved out so what I mean is I will kind of do this curve it out a little bit that's kind of how the side of it would look like uh, going into it so it'd be curved this whole thing would be gone over here this curves up I'll shape it out a little bit later maybe add another thruster somewhere here but I do want another thruster component up in the front so there will be another setup assembly similar to this up in the front over here where I'm staring at once I get the wall up and going so I'm gonna have basically people who come in from the back will be able to come in from here go up these ladders okay before they could even get oxygen they have to come in here get the oxygen then they could come into this room where everything would be you could take off your helmet um, I also need some sort of ladder going up so I could get to another turret maybe because they're auto turrets so I might not need to but um, have some seats around over here then the pilot assembly up in front which I haven't thought about if I want to narrow this in or if I want to change the appearance of this now but as far as the layout goes this is what I sort of imagined so yeah it's gonna be a little bit long maybe I might bring it back a little um, because I do have a lot of cargo room especially fitting this type of vehicle in here does it look a little bit too big right now it seems pretty good 
I could fit at least two vehicles here. Um, it's classified as a freighter, so the idea is that I could carry cargo and have some firepower, but it's not a destroyer or anything. It's just basically a freighter, small grid freighter. And I could carry some passengers, get from one planet to another if I need to, do some rescue missions if I have to. And it should take a little bit of a beating on certain parts. I still kind of want to change out the landing gears because I'm not a huge fan of how it looks. It kind of looks silly, so I'm going to have to come up with some ideas for it. But once I start framing out everything and finish framing out the pilot seat and everything up in front, I could frame the roof. It's going to start looking really good, and then I got to decide on a color scheme on what color it should be. If you guys have any ideas, my, I, my thoughts is I, I've always loved the black and red. So I might do a black and red theme. Um, the blue and white theme is also pretty good. Fuel critical. I might do like a darker gray. Um, no energy. Or possibly a green setup. Because it is a freighter. Green works pretty good on a freighter. If you guys have any ideas for colors, let me know down in the comments below. But uh, that is it for me, guys. Um, and we made some progress on this. I kind of got a little bit of a layout so you guys could see what my vision is for now and once i start completing the other side and start packing up everything it's going to look really good and i know you guys are saying hey use mirror mode but from here on out everything's going to change you could even see like the ladder goes here i don't have a ladder on that side um the entrance to the other compartment is different and stuff inside is going to start changing i mean the walls up until from here to probably the side of the ship might be the same on the opposite side but otherwise, that is it. I could complete that pretty quick. So I'm not really too worried about getting the walls up and going. But yeah. Anyway, that is it. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.